Hey everyone, I'm Ricky, and today I'm going to be watching Elite Season 6, Episode 5. Last time on Elite, it could have been a very, very good, nice episode, but there were things that were holding it back. I talked a lot about it last episode. Essentially, it dealt a lot with Cruz, and it showed him playing a game and how there were supporters there, but then there was also a bunch of haters there, specifically Raul's friend, who started basically incited this riot because of homophobia. There was a lot of violence uh, last episode, not only with the riot, but then also at the very end, and Cruz was drunk and high and he shouldn't have gotten in the car and he got in the car. He almost ran o ran into this other car. They started mouthing off. There was this road rage. He was beating this guy up and then his friends came over, held him down and they were all assaulting him. And then he just like died. It was so random. It like boggles my mind that it just happened so abruptly and so randomly. I was saying at the beginning of the episode because it showed a funeral thing and it made it seem like it was Yvonne that was dead or whatever. And it ended up being Cruz. And I was like, okay, well, it could be Cruz. And if I would rather Yvonne be alive than Cruz, but I don't want either of them to die because I like both of their characters. It's very interesting exploring these topics with them, but they just got rid of it with Cruz. I don't know. Odd choice. Odd choice. I'll just leave it at that. That was just an odd choice. The assaulters started planning their revenge against Isadora and they were like, we're going to make them all hate each other and yada yada yada. And somehow Javier, one of the assaulters, is convincing Isadora to listen to her and the other assaulters and say that Yvonne is bad for her. Uh, why she started thinking of that that was the case, I don't know. And then he was obviously too drunk. She should have known what happened at the riot at that game that same day, but somehow the writers just, I guess, forgot to give her a TV or something or any social media, and she didn't know what happened. So when he pushed her back, she's like, oh, he's acting weird. And then of course, Ari's stupid ass is like, oh yeah, he is acting weird, isn't he? Because she's annoying this season. <sighs> Last episode pissed me off. I was liking the episode minus little things, but just like everything like built up that I hated about it just completely derailed any things that I actually liked, like topics that they explored last episode. For example, the Sarah and Mencia relationship thing and the, the fact that Mencia was trying to help Sarah out of an abusive relationship because she knows exactly what that's like because she was with Armando in season four. That was nice. I liked scenes like that and Sarah actually left and she went to go with Mencia. I'm actually worried for her and see what Raul was gonna do. I don't know but and I like that they address the topic of homophobia in sports and stuff like stuff like that was nice but just everything else about it just brought the episode down in any case I'm gonna get into this one now this one's called morning before I do though like this video subscribe if you haven't already consider following me on patreon I'm gonna put all of my full on cut reactions on there and uh, follow my twitter because I post whenever I upload and without further ado let's get into it que se acaba de morir su padre. he's gonna do it anyways because he's an asshole La verdad seguirá estando ahí, siempre esperándote. ¿Por qué insistís tanto en contármelo? Pero recuerda que también estaban Iván y Filip. Ellos no hicieron nada. Eso es lo que te dijeron. Ay, no. No, es que no... No voy a caer en esta. En serio, no. That would be nice if that line were true, where she is not falling for that. Iván y Filip participaron. No. No, eso no es así. I already know the writers are going to make her think that that is actually true. A ver, lo importante es que fueron ellos dos quienes lo lideraron, especialmente Iván. Estaba desatado por las drogas. Parecía un animal. Fue él el primero en tirarse encima de ti. Iván y Filip lideraron la movida, especialmente Iván. Bueno, entiendo que la gente no sabe qué hacer en esos casos, pero creo que no lo puedo superar sin mis amigos más cercanos. Me parece que Patrick te está cuidando como te mereces. Para. Y estar con Patrick todo el día encima no hace más que recordarme de toda la mierda. Yo también sé lo que es tener una mierda en la cabeza que te saque las ganas de vivir. You know, after the episode three, I was like, oh, okay, I like this season, like things are looking up, and now they're just doing things that are just pissing me off. <laughs> if she doesn't just block his damn number, no, cut off Hola. contact. Te vuelto a escribir, ¿no? Sin parar. ¿Qué quieres que haga? Black him. Que lo denuncies de una vez o que lo bloquees como mínimo. Es yeah. que tú no le conoces. Eso sería peor. Pero no te puedes quedar en el limbo. Tienes que tomar una decisión. ¿Quieres que lo hagamos juntos? Claro. Both Nico and Ari do the same thing. Whenever they're like mad at one another, they go after either Bilal or that one girl that likes her pussy ate. A ver, que pasamos mucho tiempo juntos. Sí, como amigos. Uh -huh. e igual me gustaría hacer algo más. No lo sé. Ni confirmo ni desmiento. <laughs> well, hopefully Dida can talk her out of being nonsensical about Yvonne. I just want her to actually like bring it up. <laughs> Who's this? 
Hablé ayer con papá y no me dijo que venías. Oh. ¿Sorpresa? Brother, ok. ¿Hasta cuándo te quedas? Me mudo aquí. ¿Te manda papá aquí para encargarte de los negocios? Os dije que os quedarais allí y me dejarais a mí en Madrid tranquilo a mi puta bola. Sí, os lo sí, dije. Ya lo sé, pero los negocios son los negocios. Es que ha surgido una oportunidad irrepetible aquí en Madrid, ¿no? Papá te va a dejar a tu aire. Eso te lo juro yo. Está todo el día en la cama, casi ni habla. Luego no quiere ir a su casa, pero la mía está como un zombie. Siento que no puedo hacer nada, no sé. ¿Y si organizamos un homenaje a Cruz aquí? ¿De cuándo el camarero propone eventos en mi negocio? Que no es tu negocio, que es el de tus padres. Yo creo que no llegamos, chicos. No. Es muy precipitado. Isadora, tranquila. I need her this episode to bring up what her assaulters said to her to somebody else so that they could talk some sense into her. Okay, I get it. I get it. Okay. It's like the show is telling me. I get it. She's she's still fucked up from the experience. Oh, no. Stop it. Hombre, es que... De Iván me cuesta creerme. Okay, Didac, please. Talk sense into her. My God. Cancelamos el homenaje. No, el homenaje es a Cruz. I understand she can't trust anybody, but like why? Okay, use that against her. She can't trust anybody. Why are you trusting your assaulters out of every fucking person? Why are you trusting them, but not Yvonne? You can't trust anybody, but you trust them when they say that stupid fucking shit? Make it make sense. <sighs> this season's just getting me heated. Sorry if I'm like getting annoying with this, but I just like, I'm annoyed. So I can't, I need to like release my anger. <laughs> See, that's the difference between this random girl and Ari is that she's, she's open to the experience. Nico, what happened? I liked it. It's stories like Nico's that like make me want to give the show chances after chance after chance. There's always like little glimmers of hope in each season where I'm like, oh, I like that storyline. Nadie me ha convencido de nada. Es mi decisión. A tu madre a mí nos preocupa que sea una decisión a la ligera y que te precipites. Que no sea la ligera. Las cirugías de resignación son muy delicadas, muy complicadas. Oh, oh. Tiene un posoperatorio muy difícil. Mira, igual. Porque esto no se hace por un arrebato. Que no es un arrebato. Sí, sí que lo es. It's what's gonna make him happy, like. Vas al colegio y lo piensas bien, o seas mayor de edad y decidas por ti mismo. Pues si no me ayudas tú, me busco otro médico. Tú sabes lo que cuesta eso. Nico, vuelve a la mesa, por favor. I get that the parents are trying to just do what's best for him, but it's what's gonna make him happy. So like, let him do it, you know? Why not? Iván, que yo solo quiero ayudarte. Pues no me lo recuerdes todo el tiempo. Entonces dime qué hacer por ti. Nada, ya no sé nada, Patrick. No quiero que hagas nada. ¿Qué prefieres, delfín o tiburón? Un delfín para respirar necesita subir a la superficie. De vez en cuando, el tiburón tiene que seguir nadando si quiere llenar sus branquias. Pase lo que pase. Pero dejar de respirar no es una opción. Para seguir respirando después de lo de sumo. No. No lo nombres. Tu truco es seguir nadando sin parar, pase lo que pase. This is like the first good advice that Ari's ever said. Well, hopefully Yvonne can take that and run with it. Like that was a nice little sit down. That's like what I'm talking about. It's like there's little like glimmers of hope in each season. Like just for that, for example, integrating the cast more so. It could have just been Patrick that did that with Yvonne, but they decided to make it Ari because Ari's been through past experience. I like when they do stuff like that. Separar a Isadora de Iván, que las están pasando putas si se necesita. A ver si nos vamos a estar confundiendo contigo. Y a quien hay que cargar el muerto es a ti. Javier, enough with the back and forth shit. If you actually feel bad, go to the police. If you don't feel bad, shut the fuck up. Sé que lo de Isa no lo puedes hacer, pero te juro que ya lo estoy pagando caro. Yo lo que no sé es cómo duermes por las noches. Y encima ahora le comes la oreja con esto de Iván, que es que no me creo una mierda. Que ya no somos los amigos que éramos. Something tells me this pow dude is gonna be trouble, because like, why the hell was he just randomly introduced and now he knows Javier, like, what's about to happen with that? I don't know. Something not good, probably. Por eso por encima de cualquier cosa, Tiene que estar nuestro amor y nuestra lealtad. God, he's a loyalty guy. Get fucked. Lo que tiene que hacer, suicidarse. Yeah. Sorry. Eh, irse a una isla desierta. <laughs> que cógete un cohete y te vas al puto espacio y te quedas ahí orbitando hasta que te mueras. Tiene que hacer eso. Yeah. Pero habla con él. No. De hecho, si sigues así, vamos a tener que ponerte una orden de alejamiento, ¿verdad? Tú no eres así. Is now you shut up. Te está manipulando. Pero bueno, es que ganar músculo lleva su tiempo. No, en serio, algo habrá que pueda hacer para acelerar el proceso. Igual puedo conseguirte una mierda cojonuda para crecer. Por un módico precio, claro. Uh, what? Módico, módico, tampoco, pero te oh, he wants to, he needs... de calidad, de la mejor, de médico. Podemos ayudarnos mutuamente. Like he could have done that with anybody else. It had to be the assaulters. Si conoces a alguien más que quiera, avísame. 
I mean, I respect the hustle, I guess, <laughs> but this obviously is not going to go down well. Any Anything with drugs at the school has always gone bad for every single character. Whether it be Marina or Valerio or Rebecca, it's just gonna happen all over again. Muchos me habéis preguntado que por qué hace semanas que no subimos nada y creo que os debo una explicación. Of course, he's getting in front of it. Si hasta le escribí una carta, pero no sabía dónde enviarla. Oh my God, he's such a bitch. He is such a bitch. Ni siquiera la voy a leer porque me la sé de memoria, igual que me sé de memoria todos los lunares de tu espalda. Quiero que sepas que no te guardo rencor. Me guardo todos los momentos de amor que me has dado. Y yo. Seremos siempre tu hogar. If you actually believe that, you would tell her that. And not treat her the way you have been treating her. And he was like just talking about how Mencia is the one that's manipulative. Okay. Si los amigos que te has echado ahora para ir de guay son gilipollas y te tratan como el culo, no es mi problema. Arregla los kilos de mierda que has echado entre Ivana y Sadora. Okay. Okay. I'll give that to him. Okay. Okay. I thought he was just gonna start just becoming friends with him again for no reason. Huh. We might make progress. <laughs> I might not be as annoyed as I was. <laughs> Who knows? Oh, what did he say? What did he say, though? Did he actually tell the truth or no? Llama mi chofer. Ahora. What did he say? Oh, no. Isadora, te mentí. Hugo y Alex me obligaron. Oh. Iván no tuvo nada que ver en lo de Ibiza. Okay. Para que nos dejaras en paz y te centraras en otro. Okay, can she use that as evidence? Like, how much evidence does there need to be? Is she going to the police, please? Oh, she's gonna be there for Yvonne. We like that, okay. Thankfully, that didn't last more than, like, an episode. No puedo ni empezar a imaginarme todo lo que estás sintiendo en este momento. Tampoco tengo ni una sola excusa para darte de por qué no estuve presente durante todo este tiempo. Sos mi mejor amigo y siempre estuviste ahí para mí. No sé qué mierda me pasó. Okay, thankfully that annoying ass storyline is done already. Thank God. Tampoco te puedo devolver a tu padre. Y puedo ir con vos a tu casa a recoger sus cosas. Y si no te animas a mirarla solo, las miramos juntos. O no vamos. No sé. Lo que vos quieras. Lo más importante de todo esto es que quiero que sepas que nunca más en mi vida te voy a dejar solo. Me parece que es un buen comienzo para que te enfrentes con la herida. Yeah. You always gotta confront it no matter how hard it is to do that. Otherwise, you're never gonna heal. Vamos juntos. Vení. If that went on for one more episode, <laughs> I would have lost my mind. No, no, eres mi tipo. Lo siento. Oh. Damn. I need to know, I need, I need Rocio to, to do more. I need more for her. Porque a ti te gustan blancas y millonarias. Aunque te traten como una mierda, ¿no? Y porque ya me tienes a mí, a la hermana, para hacerte el chulo. Aunque no sea tu tipo. <risa> Agradezco vuestra asistencia a este acto. Era una persona con sus mierdas intentando vivir su vida a su manera. Nadie tendría que morir por eso. Patrick, no. No. Tiene que llorarlo. con sus lecciones de vida cuando la primera que las necesitas ella. Consejos vendo que para mí no tengo. <risa> Vuelva a casa y él se va. Que está poniendo de su parte, Mencía. Que es de manual, Sara, que lo está haciendo para controlarte. Lo que pasa es que veo que te estás metiendo en la boca del lobo y no puedo dejarte aquí. Mencía, que estoy cansada de ser un títere. Que quiero recuperar mi vida. Y esta es mi decisión. She's falling back into the trap. I mean, it's not surprising because that happens a lot in those types of relationships, but it's just sad. Tú me has pedido que dejara que mi novia llorara a su padre, ¿no? Pues ahora yo te pido que hagas lo mismo por Samuel. Yeah, damn. You know what's sad? That we never got like a proper funeral or anything for Samu. It was just kind of like up in the air if he died or not. And then this season, they're just like, yep, he's dead. And then that was it. A mí lo único que me ayuda un poco es esto. Si no podemos quitarlo, al menos podemos compartirlo, ¿no? Don't. Don't. What is this? Stop. Stop! Stop! No! What are we doing? Why? 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 Sure. Whatever. <laughs> well, Ari's finally getting some dick, so, you know, good for her, I guess. Tan guapo y tan sola. Tirando de clásicos, ¿no? ¿Cuánto? Hot every... ¿Cuánto cobras? 
Oh. Eh, 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 ¿qué haces? La gracia es que no te llevas cuatro hostias, racista de mierda. ¿A que a esa no le has preguntado cuánto cobra? Ni a esa. ¿Qué ha pasado? Esta chica me está agrediendo. La agredida ha sido ella. Llevaroslo. Oh my gosh. It's like Armando part 2. Por una vez te entiendo. Los de aquí me miran y con ver mi piel piensan que ya me conocen. Yo soy de aquí. Pero quería ser de allí. Al revés que yo. Javarios, yo. Es hola en Swahili. <laughs> Siempre está bien conocer a una hermana. That's cute. See, more of that. More of that. Do that. Don't do the other Ivan and Ari shit. Pero tú no sé por qué te alejas de mí. Aceptas ayuda de todo el mundo, pero de mí no aceptas nada. Aunque digas que me lo agradeces, siento que me desprecias. No te desprecio, padre. Sí, me desprecias. Y es que no sé cuándo empezó, pero me da igual, porque no me lo merezco. Te has convertido en una borracha asquerosa que no tiene respeto por nada. <laughs> Read her ass. She deserves that. I was just getting back to liking that Yvonne and Patrick getting back and nice with each other, and then I was, I literally said, I was like, look, they're gonna make them hate each other again in like a couple episodes, probably. Look what happened. Mañana o cuando quieras, vengo y grabamos algún video, como hemos dicho. Vale. Espera. Stop. Oh my god. Que igual es una tontería que te vayas hoy para volver mañana. Bueno, pero es This lo que is how probado, ¿no? she gets dragged back in. He makes her think that she's having the choice here when really he's just still emotionally manipulating him, her. Yeah, see, it's getting exactly what he wants. It's uh, gross. Por eso te digo que te alejes de mí. Que no me haces caso. Te está esperando tu novia. Oh, this poor Sonia. Like, all she wants is to have sex. Every single time, Nico keeps letting her down. <laughs> Joder, si hasta estás evitando mirarme. Porque cada vez que te miro, recuerdo que mi padre salió del armario por ti. Recuerdo que salió de casa aquella noche porque tú le llamaste. Y que si no te hubiéramos conocido nunca. Oh. Igual seguiría vivo. My God. No puedes culparme de eso. I can't believe he just said that. Sé que no es tu culpa que mi padre esté muerto. Pero eso no cambia lo que siento cuando te miro. Oh. Siento que todo es por tu culpa, padre. My God. Ojalá pudiera controlarlo, pero es lo que siento. Y no puedo hacerlo más. Iván, por favor, dime que no me estás dejando. Um, it's probably best at this point, Patrick, after all of this. He literally just told you that even though he doesn't want to feel that way, he blames you for his dad's death. And also, you just he just caught you cheating on him with his sister. Like, yeah, it's time to just take some time apart. Alright, you don't gotta ruin Isadora's shit. Damn. Okay. Okay, he's alive. He, and it better stay that way. There better not be any, like, flatline bullshit. Ah, oh, okay. At least we got that. Oh my god. Thank god he's fucking alive. Good. I don't want any more death. <laughs> unless it's the assaulters. I want all of them to die. One by one. A torturous death. That'd be amazing. Oh my god. I'm glad they put that in there. So that we didn't have to wonder the entire season. I'm glad they ended that Isadora believing the assaulter thing. She went back to Yvonne. She was there for him. It was nice. The whole Ari and Yvonne thing. I'm like, just why? 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 Whatever. I don't know. Now Patrick and Yvonne are separated honestly it's probably better with the way things were going and what he just said to him like holy shit i still think it's stupid that cruz died so abruptly and randomly like that i guess i'm just more upset that he died because if you're going to do that kill off one of the characters that's actually interesting that's left in the show do it in a more ceremonious way <laughs> you know what i mean not just like randomly in the middle of the season like that by some random people and then the random people got caught the next episode in the beginning of the episode like what it's elite it's elite past season three what can you say i don't know i do want to see how this season and ends. Uh, I mean, I'm curious on where all these storylines are gonna go now, because like, how are they gonna have three more episodes with all of this? Finding out what happened to Yvonne, who did it. Getting, I guess, more fallout between Sarah and her and Raul. But then other than that, like, what is Isadora gonna do the rest of the season? What is Nico gonna do for the rest of the season? What is Petri gonna do for the rest of the season? What is Mencia gonna do for the rest of the season? Probably more trying to get Sarah out of it. I don't know. There's not much that they can do with the storylines that they've set up and ended 
ended and where they put all of them at this point in the season. So I don't know how they're gonna fill three more episodes with stuff. We'll see. Let me know what you thought about this episode in the comments and like this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. Consider supporting me on Patreon. Full uncut reactions are up on there. And follow my Twitter. I post whenever I upload and I will see you on episode six. Bye.